Alright, it should be starting soon. Just gonna wait here. Anytime now. Anytime. There we go. Finally. Alright. So. Uh, it's been a year since... Where did my phone go? It's over there. Why is it over there? Uh, okay. Over a year ago, we had a... Well, I think last year's stage, 2018. The Sky Mega Strimp made this game. Well, he made a demo that I was very impressed with. And there were a few faults with the game that I did find. And so this time, I'm going to be trying again. And see how it is. Now you bring up the chat real quick on here so I can see that. Oh, it's already on my phone. Perfect. So let's see if it's current this way. Can I turn it vertically? No, I can't see this. I can't see the chat that way for some reason. It's weird. So I'll just leave the, leave the chat there so I can read it. So anyway, let's go ahead and play this. I know it has controller support now, so we'll take a look there. Where is it? Uh, alright, there we are. Loading. Enable shaders, yes. Uh, that looks a little weirdly cropped. Hold on, let me let me see something here. Display settings. Let's see if it changes that way. If that's an issue with the coding that in that regard. Did it change? Did it even change at all? No, I guess it just, uh, covered that way. Whatever. Anyway. Options. Display. Full screen. Alright. Uh, that's an interesting, uh, no, no, wait, did I do that right? Alright, there we are. Now I know there is controller support, so let's see if this works here. Controls. Oh, it, has, it just uses the D-pad. I guess it doesn't use the... It doesn't detect the analog stick in this. Let me go ahead and just... Uh, controls. No, wait, that's the back button. Options. Controls. What? Choose a new key. I know, it's fine. Uh. Alright, I... Let's try this again. Alright, uh... Oh, I can't change... I can't change gamepad controls. Alright. No, I don't want to. Mm. No, I don't want to. I'm 
I'm trying to exit. How okay. Alright. If I would suggest maybe like for the full screen mode, maybe on the border, have like a starry background so it's less distracting than partial of the title. That's just my personal opinion there. Alright, so let's see here. What does this do? What does this little thing do? Press attack to log in. What? Oh. Oh, for achievements. Actually, I'll, I can test those out too while I'm at it. I forgot because this is a game jolt game. And I guess trying to log in. Like. What? I'm pressing attack. And I, I guess it doesn't allow me to log in after hitting it the second time. Alright, let me try load, reloading it. I had I, I had to press enter on the keyboard. Okay. What? Well, I'm definitely not going to be doing. Let me just. Uh, where is the display capture? There we are. Let's do that while I look at my game user token here. Please enter my game user token. Did that work? I just typed in my username. Okay, username. Game Jolt token. Yes. And then it just goes to black screen. Nope. Cancel. Wait, that's... Okay, so let's try this again. Options. Turn that down, Brit! Don't watch it, and don't watch it without me either. I thought I Okay. Okay. All right. Now let's go ahead and play the game proper here. New no. Yes. What? What? 
Why did I just go back to the main? Why did I just go back to the main screen? All right, let's just play. Let's just try with the keyboard. Let's try. Uh, let's just try with the keyboard. B and A are both enter. Uh. Actually, hold on. B and A is X and Z, okay. Delete the save file. Uh, yes. You, you you probably need to make it better. Which one is uh, like like have like a blue highlight or something because I I can't tell. If it, it's really hard to tell if it's like pressed or not. Like uh, when it's raised up, like I don't know. It kind of then it just goes back. What? Okay. So I, I apparently accidentally hit the trash icon instead of new game. There is trouble in dreamland. Here we go, finally. Is this too loud for everyone? King DD and his soldiers have stolen all the food in dreamland. Meanwhile... Huh? Why, why can't I move? Okay, so it has my... That's odd. Okay, so it tied Im immediately to my gamepad, which is completely fine. That's okay, but... You guys can't hear sound? All right, hold on a second. Oh, that's why. What's select again? Where's the game? Alright, let's reload this again so you guys can hear the music from the start.
I'll just use the mouse to click on everything. I already just saw this, so. Alright. Aw, it doesn't have that little, uh, I'm so used to the modern Kirby type of formula now. Why is, uh, I feel like the sprite com the sprite cropping's kind of off. I understand it's probably more of like a perspective thing, but... Good sound effects, everything moves smoothly here. I like the kind of like, uh, slow effect as well. I do see that little, a little black line that appears every so often. There, is there still no sound? How is there still no sound? There we go. I, I don't, it was set to default. What was default? Whatever, can you hear it now? Uh, let me restart this again. Alright. Hopefully, it'll be good this time. All right. <sighs> Let's start back again. Hopefully we can finally get started on this. Oh my goodness. I just want to play the game. <sighs> uh, all right. What's this with the spray? I like classic pink. Ooh, it had the Kirby Jam Land 3 one. Yay. I think I saw these all before, actually. I like the, I like the classic pink. Oh. Well, that's fine. It's too loud. Okay. How about now? Does it sound fine now? I do like that <laughs> little touch on uh, the Dreamland 3 thing. In fact, actually, while we're while we're waiting for the sound, I just want to go see what all the little tiplets are for a uh, little thing. No paints today, I see. Color of wisdom, kiwi. Color of vigor, life and nature. Feeling blue, <laughs> Common minion. Like it's 1992. Old glory. <laughs> I just, that's, that's easy the best one right there. Too, so you can hear the intro music.
Everything runs so smoothly. I like that. Like this little counter for your stars, too. I like how the screen scrolls depending on where you're on and everything, too. There's only that one move, there's no uh, move set. Eh, fair enough. Good music. There's a secret down here. Oh, I guess not. I thought there would be with that green star there. I do see that little uh, weird black stripe that appears across the screen every so often. So that can maybe be looked at and fixed a little bit. We got bomb. Oh. <laughs> cool, I, li I like the little cursor to aim. Because it's, at the moment, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, when I think of bomb, I usually think of, like, quick throw kind of thing, but that's just me personally. I gotta say, the amount of difference I could see already in, like, the first two screens versus what I played before is fantastic, actually. I can't, I just, am I just not, this could be not have a super inhale then? Alright. All right, so Kirby does not have his super inhale in this game. Good to know. Ooh, I like a little dash, that little animation there. Like it even has like a little speed thing around it. It's nice. Nice little attention to detail. Very good. Gooey, what's up, buddy? Making a cameo? Cutter. You could aim them as well. Oh wait, wait a minute. Oh that's cool. You could actually aim it like up and down as it's as it's flying. Huh. So you can just aim it as you need to every so often. Neat. But of course, boss has no abilities. Always. Cool music. I know I heard that, uh, I, I know, uh, what is it, uh, Tater Tot Tunes is working on the music in this game, but I know he did, wasn't actually able to make anything for the demo, so who, could, who uh, directed the music for this? Because this is pretty, pretty nice. Oh, there's no pause for Laura either? to be. Never mind. Now is not the time for questions. There is no time to waste. We need to move now. Hey, what are you waiting for? The cosmic flux bender has returned. We need to stop him before it's too late. 
I need to find a battleship somewhere in quick. I know just the person. Is that a warp star? I haven't seen one of those in quite some time. Hey, Puffball. Do you have a battleship by chance? I don't, but uh, I know someone who might have one. Or some form of army, any kind of defense. Either could work. Light Meta S, yes, I have heard of him, and yes, I have listened to his music before. So he's the one who's directing this. Very nice, he's also really good. I just uh, haven't listened to all his music. I have certain remixes and stuff I've listened to. But either way, Kirby, with all due respect, I don't think this is a good idea. Why should we trust another weirdo in search of a ship? Remember what happened last time? Oh, come on, you can't just, you know. You gotta remember the past, you know, people are different. That's what I went with Ribbon. You do realize I'm still here, you know. I may be small, but I'm not deaf. I really need to travel to the asteroid fields to stop the impending doom that awaits. It's against my better judgment, but you may use the halberd. The condition that I come along and when I'm done, we will leave Asteroid Fields. Got it? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Is this going to be an escort mission? Is he going to get hurt and I'm going to lose the mission if... Here, let me just... Right now I'm trying to test the uh, the detection rate of the ladder. Pretty well done. Pretty good. Well played. All right, ladder works as it should. But I think it's quite amazing just how many people, like, well-known and how many Kirby fans are working on this game and just how well done it is. Like, there's so much about this game. Like, it's just pretty much every complaint I had with the last uh, demo seems to be fixed in this iteration. I'm very impressed. I'm, like, trying my best to try and find faults. And so far, the only one I've been able to see is a little black bar that appears from time to time and you're constantly moving things quickly. Ooh, there's a star down there. So between that and maybe the menus, I mean, everything else is spot on. Animations are smooth, music's nice, backgrounds are well done, level design is decent. It's like... This is how I dream Kirby fan games to be. No, man, thank you for making such an awesome fan game. In fact, it just pains me that there's only, this is only a demo. I'm like, oh. This just makes me want the real game more. Ah, yeah. You have a remix of this. Hold on, let me see something. I don't know. For some reason, I had an issue grabbing the ladder that first time, but I think that was just uh, just me. I like the little slides, yeah. Once again, I've said this to many people, but how it doesn't really seem like one who does DMCAs. I mean, there are a lot of uh, Kirby projects and Kirby music that went up on YouTube, and before, before Nintendo really started taking over, Kirby music was one of the only things on Nintendo, like, that was one by Nintendo. Well, partially, I guess, but like Kirby music, games that had Kirby music were still able to be monetized without being pulled down. Whereas games like Mario, Zelda, all of those, Metroid, all of those pretty much were demonetized back in that whole era before they, you know, 
arguing against that policy. How, if it had their music or anything, they just didn't care. They didn't. It wasn't until Nintendo started like franchising some later on where Kirby started going that whole thing too. But even then, that was more like Nintendo's doing, not Hal's. I don't think Hal has any issue with fan games personally. They haven't really, or fan projects in general for that matter. In fact, we have Kumazaki over there, like, uh, going on Instagram, favoriting people's art. That was some weird hit detection there. Seems like it would should, should have been underneath that, but... Hmm, I feel like I should have maybe broken a couple more boxes than that, but... I think the, if anything, the hit detection with the Gordos might be a little off. Let me, let me see. Oh, that was fine there. I don't know. It's just me. It's fine. Alright, so that time I had an issue going up the ladder. But I think it's only because I... If I start off as a blimp and I try to climb the ladder that way, even when I... But there's like a little delay in being able to grab. Like, for example, like, when I let go of the air when I'm puffed up and I let go of it, it, it I can't grab the ladder instantly. So that's, that's one thing there. So, uh, take note of that. I feel like the double star would hit more blocks than just one, but... Yeah, if you can't... Yeah, if you're inflated and then you deflate, you can't grab a ladder until you land. That's... Good to know. Let me test that again. Let me, let me kill these wildies first before I test that more. Alright. Basically, if you do want to grab it, you have to like constantly like double tap to grab the ladder. So you have to like double tap to grab the ladder if you exhale, but yeah. Just take note of that. Yeah, this soundtrack is great. It makes me happy that so many Kirby fans have like banded together to work on stuff for this game. want to like when I have bomb I just want to constantly throw 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 with bombs this I'm tapping the fastest I can but this is the fire rate of bombs I understand the whole cursor thing with aiming but still that's a pretty disappointing fire rate especially when bombs known for like mass destruction of everything
Oh, hey. I am not so sure about this, Kirby. This whole situation seems rather shady, particularly the part about impending doom. Regardless, rather he be like that fairy friend of yours, or the insane power-hungry jester. Riven and Marks, let's give them a lift and go home. Captain Vol, Sailor D, what is going on? This is not good sign. You better hurry and get off the ship. Escape scene! Oh, I can't inhale those? Alright, that's fine. Yeah, a situation like this is where that uh that double tapping thing is very <laughs> helpful. I'm not sure about how crazy strict the time limit is, but oh, you, you can't even oh they can't even hurt you if they're in the background. All right then. Oh man, those Squirtles are going crazy! I need the food. Oh, I can't- and now they're mixing, uh, regular ones inside the ones you can't go into. Alright then. I like the background and the whole shaking cam thing that's going on for the escape route. Wait, Puffball. I think we are almost there. We're gonna make it. I can see the mass sphere over there. We are at the source of the problem. I can't handle this, but it will take some time. The crew is still being awfully quiet while a few have gone missing recently. So we are a tad understaffed for but what matters now is we are at the location you must those desire. Kirby, once you two are done, come back here right away so we can leave. Got it? Yes, sir. I guess there was still plenty of time there. And now we are in the asteroid. I love the, uh, I love that background there in the background. Quite nice looking. L like that background in the background. Yes, that, that's definitely necessary to be said. It doesn't make a uh, sound the last hit before you die. That's fine. I guess it doesn't really have to, but sometimes that uh, that, that last death sound is a bit uh, a bit satisfying. Whoa! What? All right, hold on. Can I heal those? Mystic beam. So it's kind of like a shield. A shield that I could launch out. That's pretty crazy power. Oh, and I, I see it has like a limited amount of hits too. Like it's, it gives you uh, three shields or four shields and it kind of limits the time it hits something. Very nice. Then we got the uh, fire bar of Waddle Dees, Waddle Dees rather. I think this is mostly unchanged from uh, the original demo I played. Uh 
Oh, hold on, we can chat the music notes back on here. Significance that the stars have, like any significance at all. That does not seem worth it yet. Oh, come on, got it. have the selection for uh, Milky Way Wishes in here in the remix. Oh, I'm out of Mystic Beam? What happened? Oh, that's right. Those things can actually get rid of your powers, right? Oh, I know. I lost some powers down there. That works. And it's Gooey again. What's up, Gooey? Yeah, BRB is gonna kill these guys. There we go. We're late. It looks like the enemy has moved to Egg Garden. Mr. Puffball, the warp stars that you ride on, are you able to summon them on Koma? You. Does that, maybe I misread that. You are a small, powerful creature. I am honored to be in your presence, Puffball. You must be so confused. Let's get onto the star and I'll introduce myself. So, my name is Gamble. Nice to meet you. I was born from an infinite energy source eons ago. That, that should be AE, but fair enough. Though you may have noticed, I have gotten weaker over time. But take it from me, Puffball, I have retained that strain somewhere inside me. I have these unusual magical powers I call Flux. They are very handy, so powerful, yet extremely lethal in the wrong hands. Hence why we are here right now. You should probably thank the stars that they ended up in my hands. And with all due respect, Mr. Puffball, you may be a small, pink, powerful creature, but you look clueless. It would, be, it would benefit you to learn more about the enemy we're facing. I can lend you my impressive knowledge. Mmm, starting to get a little suspicious with words like that. That's never for you, especially when the music stops. Get comfortable. Uh huh. There was a well-known space pirate in the galaxy that lived centuries ago. One day, he started to study my flux magic. Jealousy is a disgusting thing, Puffball. He eventually succeeded and used it against good spirits of the galaxy. He went insane. I had no choice not to do so. He deserved it. It was a long time coming. I sealed him into a dimension beyond ours to prevent further damage. But a while ago, he came back somehow, and now he craves vengeance. Honestly, Puffball, the whole thing is exhausting. When he launched me toward your planet, I knew I had to retaliate. Then you found me, and he helped me. I owe you dearly. Unfortunately for us, it seems the enemy has mastered the flux magic. Remember the sudden meteors and lightning wrecking havoc? Remember the rising chaos throughout the galaxy? 
It is his flux magic. I know it. Remember those purple beans we just saw? They are fragile creatures that are inflect infected with a more unstable form of flux. Given them unnatural powers, we have no way of knowing what will happen now. And with such a vast journey ahead, I just do not believe we are matched for the enemy. For now. Here we are. Make sure you land safely, Puffball. Alright. Sa- oh. Sodden soon. You can't tell me what- Oh, that makes me sad. Alright, so let's go in here. Is this where I just came from? Oh, that is. What? Oh. Well, they have a new title screen now. Alright then. Wait, that wasn't where we just are, because that's locked. Duh. Alright. And the music's also different. And if I would have just walked two steps, I would have seen enemies I didn't see yet. So... Yeah, bomb is very disappointing. I know I already said that, but honestly, like, be I can't just like use bombs in air very easily. And the heck? All right then. I saw that coming, and yet. Run. Beam. Got the Dreamland 3 uh, things. At least they're probably inspired from Dreamland 3. So far, Beam is easily the best uh, ability in the game. Uh, Mystic, uh, Mystic Beam's not bad either. Uh, but so far, everything else is just kind of... Yeah, Cutter's pretty good, but I, I guess like, the only bad one is Bomb. Seriously, this music is just so great. Wait, there's supposed to be a delay before I switch on to Reigns? Like, it, it stops me before running on that. Yeah, I don't think I got to Mystic Fire yet. If that was somewhere, I sure didn't reach it. Whoops. Oh, 
Oh, oh, come on. I'm like trying to do a uh, final cutter on enemies, but uh, it's not a thing. Back my mystic fire, dang it. Oh no, the sailor from the battleship. Oh hey, Sailor D, what's up? Let me fix your flux, little guy. Huh? Hey! You are that floating car my master sent on a mission to find. You are coming with me. Strange, he can still talk. He probably still retains his consciousness. I must bring you to my master. Forget what I just said. He is most certainly brainwashed. Huh. Okay, I feel like uh, he seems to think, think he seems to thankfully only have level two flux, so it should not be too hard to cure. You are stubborn, that is for sure. Well then, we'll see if you can handle a waddle squad. Oh, you are approaching me. Uh, 
Okay. already going to like phase five stuff right now. If I would have used copy abilities against that really odd Whispy Woods from, uh, what was that one game? Uh, uh, th that one that was cancelled, that Tetra Flora made. I'm trying to think what that was called. Um, Dream Mix or whatever. If I would have used abilities against that, I'm not using them now.
this time the the giant well the ball just isn't coming back then. Oh, I guess the ball never made a second appearance that time. What gives? Huh. Alright then. Because, yeah, it's before I defeated the little the little ball and then it came back. That time I defeated it and it didn't come back. So that's not one of those things intentionally where it gets easier for the player over time. Because I hate those things. Is it? Alright. Well, that sure was something. I guess so. Let us hope we never run into those guys again, Puffball. Huh? What was that all about? Uh-oh. I think I sense a very powerful energy coming from that nearby temple. Considering what the little sailor said, I have a feeling the one we are searching for is there. It is time to end this all at last. You ready, Puffball? Let us hurry up, though. We would not want to miss him again. Alright, going on to level 2. Anything up here? Anything exciting up here? I understand it's natural in games. I s still wish they would give us an option. Like, I actually prefer super cheap, super, uh, uh, what is those, uh, super guides over, like, the intentionally easier over time things. I, I don't like when games make things intentionally easy over time without giving the player an option to change their mind. Players sometimes, like, the whole point of gaming to learn is that, and I, I know you already said it's not intentional from this game, I understand that. The reason I don't like it there is because it's, it challenges the player to keep on trying, to keep on doing their best, to learn the pattern and learn from it. If you're just, like, kind of given throwing bones at you until you actually get it correctly. It's kind of removes the whole point of learning and memorization. Just, I prefer just like having an option to skip it if I don't think it's too hard or something. Like, uh, I'm just wondering, why, why does it like, is it supposed to kind of do that where like before it goes from a going down ledge to a regular ledge, it kind of like stops you? Is that intentional? Because it's kind of like, Oh, we got regular fight. We got regular fight here with Brian Leo. Alright, so this is a full move set. Sort of. Okay. 
my cutter. Are really good. It's almost done, so. Bomb to open up Sir Kibble. Open up. I need bomb to open Cutter. I need Cutter to open.
Oh, I, I managed to get the red star and avoid the corner at the same exact time. Nice. Why would you ever choose regular fire over Mystic Beam and Mystic Fire? I am afraid I cannot let you go any further, Kirby. Oh, so you were the one who caused those earthquakes. Show yourself. Oh no, it was not me. A fellow gentleman gave me a variety of powers. There were some explosions and purple mist all over. He also told me about a vortex manipulator. That will also give it to everyone in the galaxy. His flux is unstable. It will kill you. I can fix this, all of it. Just let me do it. Stop the nonsense. This thing has everything I would ever want. I feel powerful, supreme, unbeatable. Perhaps I should try my new tricks on you. Got yourself a meat shield. Can't inhale those, good to know. Oh, I can't uh, inhale them like uh, Magalor EX. That's away from the land. ends there. Alright. No no uh, text or anything. No dialogue. Just, just ends right there. Well that's that's something. Soon. Alright, is is that it? I'm a bit anticlimactic. I was hoping for some extra text or something, even if it, even if World 3 is not finished yet. Did I do something wrong? Was there supposed to be text appeared? That was abrupt, to say the least. I think Kirby just blinking there just kind of suits that. Just waiting for a, a 
response here from Mega Shrimp. Hold on, I think the I think the chat actually froze. Go to the left door. Okay. Welcome to the lower star cutter. I know it has been a while since you have last been here, Kirby. You can go to anywhere in the galaxy as long as you enter the coordinates. You can access the galaxy map by pressing up next to the rudder. There are a bunch of mini games right here, more to be added. It also expanded the copy building room since the last time you were here. If that is not enough for you, I have a little booth right over here as I sell a bunch of goodies. You might need. I am counting on you, Kirby. Let us take on the big bad who turned me into an evil beetroot. Alright, so let's see here. We got... I, I can't even read that. I, I, invis sprinkle? In... I, I guess that's uh types of spray negative zones no clean one up I don't know why you want to buy a one up for but uh can I mean it's gonna, you just use continues don't really even need that so. Press up for galaxy map. Let's see what we got here. A garden, halberd, green greens. Cool. How do you go back to the halberd? green nice and green so meta can put up a fight I uh seeing blue shines on the purple is kind of off-putting I would probably replace that with like white I mean Meta Knight normally Meta Knight Kirby doesn't have blue on his shoes like that old school red boy is it virtual ha ah, I get it like virtual boy Yes, yes, thank you for adding Carbon Kirby in here. Carbon Kirby is easily the best Kirby, favorite Kirby. Beat Egg Garden level two. Didn't I already do that? What? But I, I beat Egg Garden level two. Did, did that not unlock? You bring ah, I see it's backwards, Kirby. A Christmas Carol. Take me by the hand, Ocean. What? Not, I didn't want to. Let's see. How do I access the credits here? Is there like a credits thing? Look at all those copy abilities. Oh, there's the credits. There we are. 
Let's go ahead and see who all worked on this game out of curiosity. Team Sprinkle. Oh, Gamble. I, I don't know why I said Team Sprinkle. I don't know. I like that about scene. Megastorm, director and lead programmer. Why not Wastic and lead sprite artist, Blue Popo, sprite artist and writer, sprite artist, curb star, background artist. I can't read all these videos quickly. I still think it's awesome to have Tater Cartoons and Light Meta S as a composer. Kevin Wilson, alright. There's a nice lot of people here. Alright. Have fun, Burberry. Yep, thank you. A lot of baby testers. Special thanks. Ah, there I am, Gary! There I am! <laughs> but I'm twice. He, he said, and me. So, but you already put my name in there. Honestly, this game just looks so... Oh, it makes me upset that this game like has a long way to go yet before it's finished, because this is... Oh, this game's looking so good. I know the game probably won't be finished for, like, years, because, I mean, we're still... It's still... It's been, like, a full year since the last demo, I mean, there's still much... There's still a little bit to do in the, the first chapter yet. But man, is this game looking good. This is easily the best Kirby fan game I think I've seen. The only comparable Kirby fan game I think out there is uh, Kirby's Dream Land Advance. And to be fair, that's just a remake. A really well done remake. But still, this is like a whole new game with like everything new. And it's brilliant. Like, I just... Ugh, it makes me sad as I can... I know you guys are taking a. I know you guys are taking a break after this demo, and uh, it's understandable. You guys put a lot of work into this, but man, uh, this game's just fantastic. Well, I guess I guess that's it. Sadly, I guess that's it for now. So anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Wait a minute, where's, how did I cancel, where's the live thing?